Video from Sigma Traits. Men have realized modern women are not wife material. I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to find someone that makes them happy. I want everybody to live a beautiful life that they want for themselves. I don't wish ill on anybody, but could I do, I can't stand the delusion. Now we all gotta sit here and we gotta be like, oh yeah, this is great. You know, this is somebody who could get 95% of guys. And imagine going through life with that sense of delusion. Like we see it, and this is an extreme example, but when women walk around like that, imagine walking around thinking, I could get 95% of guys. How many guys are you telling no to because you think you're better than them? Are you? Or is it in your head? Just think about it. If you don't want to wind up alone, you have to have a, a, a realistic assessment of what you bring to the table, of your looks, of your capabilities, of what you're willing to do in a relationship, of your character, all of it. Men always just want virgins that have hadn't had to anyone and are really good girls. Like, you want younger women as well, so it's like that whole predator vibe. So what if I said women? Before Myron goes off, you know you live in a world that prioritizes women when the things that men want is usually correlated by women to predator behavior. Men always just want virgins that have hadn't had to anyone and are really good girls. Like, you want younger women as well, so it's like that whole predator vibe. So what if I said in. women are stupid, can't make money, short, and weak because they want a guy that makes more money than them, tall than them, more confident, ambitious, etc.? That would be ludicrous, wouldn't it? We don't shame female preferences. Okay? When a woman says, I want a man that's tall, makes money, etc., you go, girl, you deserve it. That's your preferences. If I say, I want a girl that's not a, that has some sexual temperance, isn't going to embarrass me when I walk in a room, beautiful, young, etc., that's considered, oh, that's, that's toxic and masculine. We demonize male preferences, but we don't demonize female preferences. I don't know if you know, know about what happened with, with Dr. Disrespect. What a lot of people have been talking about is how they're like, how is, and I've mentioned this before, how crazy it is that we are like tolerating all of these women on Twitch who are basically sending traffic from Twitch to their OnlyFans pages. And that traffic is usually young boys. And it's like these women know this. These women are on a gaming website. It's supposed to be a you know streaming video game website where young boys hang out. And then these like, this could be considered sort of predatorial behavior where you have then these these women who sell their body online infiltrate this website where young boys are known to hang out at because it's a video game website. That's what it was built for, I believe. That's what most people do on the platform is they stream video games. Last time I checked, that is for mainly boys. That is usually a male space. Now, obviously, we see some women coming in and kind of actually starting to, to ruin it with their PC culture and their politically political correctness and and somehow there just like isn't like a mass movement or a mass awareness of these twitch women these grown adults these women who you know maybe they're under 25 and according to 30 year old women those women's prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed so should they then be allowed to make the decision to go on OnlyFans? well they would say yes and then you ask them well can they make the decision to date an older man no but it's just really weird how, and that is, in my opinion, very predatory behavior, actually, for these full-grown adults, these women going on these websites to sell their OnlyFans to impressionable young men who they should be 18 to be viewing these women in that light. But what these women are doing is they're sexualizing themselves for little boys. It's very strange, man. If you look at it, it's actually a really new phenomenon where women go on social media, period, and sexualize themselves and then try to drive traffic to an, a different website to sell them content that is actually them, you know, frontal nudity. Because usually, historically, these people would have to go and seek out a different website to find this type of content. But now these women who are adults are going and soliciting and selling and promoting themselves in, in front of people who haven't gone through some sort of filter to make sure they are 18. And in my opinion, it seems like some of these women are kind of getting so lost in the female sexual empowerment that it seems like they think they can do no wrong sexually. I mean, you look at what's been going on with all of these teachers sleeping with their younger students. To me, it, it, it does seem like these women have become so lost in their own sexual empowerment that they might be kind of forgetting there's like illegal things. There's things you can't do. There's things that are frowned upon. And obviously, it seems like most women, right, they're, they're still grounded in reality when it comes to not being perverted in these ways. But we do see a rise in other women who are not behaving 
in an appropriate way. I mean, we see a lot more of these female teachers sleeping with their students. We see a lot of these OnlyFans girls promoting themselves to young boys across different social media sites. So it seems like some of these women are getting lost in their sexual empowerment and forgetting that there are boundaries. About the women that didn't choose to raise a kid on their own. But the 50 plus percent divorce rate, women are filing 70, 80 percent of our divorces. Women are choosing to wreck their own homes every day. Mm. Men are not choosing to wreck their own homes and make women single parents. That's mm. a choice that women are making. Why? Because their husbands are trash, treating them badly. <laughs> yeah, the there it is, right? It's the, it, you've seen it plenty of times. I've seen it plenty of times. You know the deal. Man brings up 70 to 90% of women initiating divorce. Woman says men are trash. It's to be expected. But Kevin's made, he made a great point here, and it's that women are making themselves single mothers, and this is why men absolutely, this makes it even more understandable for men to not date these single moms, because a lot of these women are doing it to themselves. Now, you, now here we go with the ad hominem stuff. This is the same stuff that's been piped into the culture forever, that when a woman chooses to break her home, it's always the man's fault. Men need to realize that for most women- Man, we need Kevin back, bro. They're crazy. She's not yours. It's just your turn. Women initiate divorce 80% of the time. You can't turn hoes like her into housewives. Countless men, just like the guy in the video, have felt the gut-wrenching pain of discovering the woman they love has cheated on them. These women cheat, breaking hearts and shattering trust without a second thought. It's astounding how easily some can toss aside loyalty and commitment like yesterday's trash. Here's to those who mock family values and leave a trail of broken hearts in their wake. Such fine examples of integrity and character, aren't they? This is precisely why MGTOW men exist. People meet people nowadays. Being a single gal in a single world, where do I go if I don't want to go on dating apps? Like, I don't like dating apps. I've had them, I've tried them. I get disappointed, I get discouraged. It, let's be honest, let's be real. Dating apps, if you're gonna think this person is attractive, you're probably gonna swipe yes. And if you- Well, we covered it on this channel, right? You remember we looked at it and it was how people used to meet before like dating apps and all this. And I believe the number one was through family, right? And then the second one, what was the second way? So to answer your question, lady, the way people used to meet a long time ago was through family, was through friends, was through primary school, and then all the way down here, the next one was through neighbors. Interesting. Find them attractive, you're going to swipe no. But sometimes people just aren't photogenic. They just don't present themselves well through photos. That's why I just feel like it's so much better to meet people in person. Also, just like with having dating apps, like it just feels forced. And I don't want it to feel forced. I want to like go out in public, meet someone like in the wild, both just having to bump into each other. And you're like, and then, you know, sparks fly. That I just want to know where, like, where do the single men go? Where are you going? Where are you hanging out? Because, like, if you're in the garage, like, come out. Like, are you at the lake? Are you snowmobiling? Are you fishing? It's wintertime. What are you doing right now? It's funny. How am I this amazing? Like, and single? Like, are you kidding me? And like, for the longest time, I just like wasn't worried about it. At this point, I'm like, I'm 31. Yep, that would explain it. That would explain the worry. When these women start hitting this age, this is when they start talking about the men who won't commit. They start asking where are all the good men. They start talking down on dating apps that they loved when they were probably in their early 20s, mid 20s, now they're 30. Games are over, right? The games are done. No more. No more games. I'm 31. Time to get a real man. Where's the real man who's going to come and sweep me off my feet? None of this dating app bullshit. What is happening? Like, is there just no one left? Put me on a dating show. The Bachelor. The Bachelorette. Love Island. I don't even care. Just put me somewhere so I can actually, like, interact with the male race. I'm not interacting with males. Love comes to you when you least expect it. Shut up. I have been trying to not expect it for, like, six years. And also, I was speaking to my friend the other day, and she was like, well, like, are you, like, trying to, like, go out of your way to meet people? I'm like, no, because people are fucking telling me that it comes when you least expect it. So here I am, like... Bro, I mean, she already... She flipped us off, and now she's even saying the F word. I just get tired of this... This abrasive manner in which these women operate. There was a comment I saw down here, and he said, As an old timer, is it just me or have women lost the ability to blush? And that's the thing, man. These women do the opposite of blush, they flex on you and flip you off. It's just so sad. 
convince myself I don't want it and I'm just not expecting it so I can get it and it's not happening but then even when I go out of my way to like go on dating apps it just never works because these people that I'm meeting aren't my cup of tea are not wanting what I want they just want a casual thing and like as as someone who's never been in any kind of romantic entanglement I'm my first my first relationship is not going to be a fucking casual relationship yeah so like what one is it should I put myself out there or should I just pretend that I'm not like, oh, I don't want a boyfriend? Let me give you a suggestion. And it's going to be a crazy suggestion that you've never thought of and nobody has ever told you. Instead of swiping right on the guys who would never in a million years take you seriously, swipe right on the guys who are your level and your looks match. And just maybe will you then find a man who's willing to take you seriously. And this is why when these women complain about dating apps, I laugh. I do not feel any sort of pity for them. You have the world in your hands and it's still not enough. You still can't figure it out. You are incompetent and a failure. A man will lose interest when he sees that he is trying way harder than you. It literally doesn't matter how pretty you are, how happy you are, how successful and confident you are. You will lose him simply because you are not giving him any effort. A lot of guys are socially awkward. I think I think you're a bit ignorant to like the average guy's experience. Consider this, right? The average guy today, his granddad had to put in a quarter of the work to mm -hmm. get the kind of woman that is four times as amazing. Are you talking? You're talking like about his like his grandmother was an amazing woman and a, and a very very feminine natural woman. And his granddad yeah. really didn't have to do the kind of work he has to do right now oh. as a young man. No, no. So so you're talking about hopefully. Yes, it's hopefully. Hopefully. So modern men have to work five times harder than their grandfathers did for women twenty times worse than what their grandmothers were. It's true. It's actually true. If you are single, that's right. So. And you are in the dating marketplace at that time when that happens. Say you're 37, 36, 38, 40, whatever it may be, and you are still on the hunt for that man, and you hit the wall, and you can see in your face that you are no longer the face that you were at, but whether it was 30 or 35 or 25, whatever it is, you are going to be panicked because now you know that you are going to compete with women who are younger, who are largely more fertile, not always, but largely speaking, yes, who have that youthfulness to them, who have that estrogen, progesterone, whatever the hormonal balance is that makes someone young, it's there and you're losing it. And you become hyper aware of that. And that is why women begin to panic. You guys, should I make some shorts like this more instead of the reaction shorts? Like not saying I'll stop those, but maybe I should do more like original content shorts like this, especially since she doesn't even make content anymore. But I see her clips used a lot. She's pretty spot on. You know what I want to talk about, you guys? So I live in New York, specifically Brooklyn, and I be outside, you know, enjoying summer as I should. And I've been going to the block parties, all of that good stuff. You know, the day parties has been a time. But the problem is the men just stare at you. They just stare at you the whole time. They don't approach you. They don't want to get to know you. They don't want to, oh, do you want to drink? It's just a staring contest the whole time. I'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to meet my future husband if the men are not approaching? Because I'm not approaching a man. Well, lady, let's look at the graph. You can meet your future husband through family, through friends, or when you were in school. But now it's gonna get a lot harder if you don't want to do the above and you also don't want to use dating apps. Like, it's giving the men want to be chased now. That's what it's giving and I don't is, like is it. Is that what it's giving? Is that what it's giving? Because if I could explain to anybody how lonely pregnancy is, oh, I, I can't put it in well, lady, what if I told you pregnancy was not supposed to be done alone? And what if I told you it's very strange that you are feeling lonely during a time in which you have what took two people to create? <laughs> you let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single so last night I ended things with a guy that in one of my previous videos I had referred to as the most intentional man I've ever spoken to. And that's it really why does left suck him. because he truly is amazing, has a lot of the things I'm looking for in a person, but we hung out like six or seven times and I just wasn't feeling it. And it's just really a shame because he really is a great guy. If he had asked me for more details, I really don't know that I would have been able to give him many besides a shame, but there's really nothing you can do. It's just the name of the game. 
ex-boyfriend, so. Wait, ex-boyfriend? Yeah. She calls us friends, but I don't consider us friends. What do you guys consider each other? Technically still figure it out, but I'm the one she calls when she needs to cry. I've tried. It's a work in progress. That's everything. It's one work in progress. So you guys are just trying to work on things? See how it goes. I'm trying to work on things. If he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah. On who? Zac Efron, Josh Bowman, some celebrity, hot celebrity. You turn that down, couldn't do it. All right, what if it was all the way around? I know what I'm worth. One night with one celebrity doesn't change who I am. So you wouldn't use it? Even There's if I no gave point. it to you? No, because it's it, it sounds like a trap. If, if, if your significant other is willing to give you one night in a one night stand with anybody in the world, it sounds like a trap for your loyalty. Damn, bro just exposed what she just got done to her, which was a trap to test her loyalty. Pretty much, right? You know, I feel really bad for this guy, and a guy like this needs to come on over. Come on over here, bro. We'll take care of you. We'll open your eyes. We'll let you in on what's going on. We'll, we'll break you free from your single mother. We got you, bro. Just come on over. Sit down and be willing to listen. And the problem with this woman right here, what you'll notice, and this is why, and you know, not to hate on this guy or, or call him any names, I'm not saying he is a beta. What I am saying is he is displaying beta behavior, that which can be changed and is not set in stone, okay? But with women like this, and we see it actually, not, not a lot, but we are seeing it more and more, is that when these women end up with sort of beta males, what they like to do is they start expressing their interest for an open relationship and an open marriage. And a lot of times it seems that women in, in many ways might actually be aroused and get off through humiliating sort of beta males. And in my opinion, it seems like this woman likes to kind of offend this guy. She likes to be mean to him and she likes to walk all over him. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Crazy Stupid Love but this guy, this guy needs to go watch it, and he needs to live out the plot of Crazy Stupid Love. And when she comes crawling back, he needs to kick her to the curb and never talk to her again. This man cannot turn this dynamic around. It is clearly too far gone. She sees his true behavior, how he's behaved, and he just needs to give it up. He needs to give it up, man. Walk away with a little bit of pride that you have left. There is no saving this. She sees you as a beta male and you continue to reaffirm that opinion of you that she holds time and time again. And she clearly does not see you as that high value of a mate for her. And it's only a matter of time before she completely ends your guys' little friendship thing you've got going for some other guy. But she's, she, right now she's looking for him and you are a placeholder for her validation and self-esteem meter to go up and up and up. That's all you are good for, brother. And it's time you fix that and move on and start leveling up and improving and embarking on a transformation. What's your price? I'm 23, so like I'll say at least like 10K. Let's 50 say, million. Probably around there. 10K? Yeah. What's your price, Cap? I'm 35,000. Yeah, right. I'll be, I'll be out here. I'm easy. Just give me my money. I don't give a fuck what you do. Just give me my shit so I can go. Okay. What's your price? Um, my price is like 15K to 20K. Like 50K. I either fuck for love or for money, and currently it's been for money. Oh, so you fucked them for money? Good thing. Yeah. Oh my god, thank god. What about money? Money is not important. Would you marry an ugly man? I've married one. Oh, I look at my own in the eye. What do you think? Disgusting. Why? Any any girl with any decency would never walk in straight with the man. Disgusting. Look at all those ladies, classy ladies. Even the way they speak is so much more pleasant. Well, I think it's just a gimmick, and I don't think any girl in their right mind is it. I believe, you know, the man is supposed to be the breadwinner. Okay. We, I would like to, like, talk about, you know, maybe having a, a weekly allowance or something. How much would the, what, yeah, how much would be, a, you know. So how much is a weekly allowance? Like, my, my last relationship, you know, he was giving me, like. Here's the thing. Let me play this out first two three thousand every week isn't it funny how some women associated providing men with money and money only whatever happened to a man providing information education guidance advice or even behavior improvement do you know why some women consider a man given the money being the provider of the relationship because that is the only thing they would accept from a man a lot of modern women they don't want no guidance they don't want to be told that they need to do better as the female in that relationship how could that woman from the previous clip 
I'm not judging her. How can she be an asset to his life? How can she bring improvement to his life? Actually goes for a lot of women out there. A lot of women, they are so cool and so content with spending a man's money that he clearly works hard for and don't even pack the man's lunch. Girl, please. These women, they don't even want to, they don't even want to master the basics in a relationship. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. They don't want to do none of that. They just want to sit there, be pretty and spend the man's money. And what kind of well, they want to be stay-at-home wives. They don't want to. Be, they don't even want to be stay-at-home moms. Like it doesn't make sense for these women to. If if you're not pregnant and you're not currently raising children, why do you want to be a stay-at-home wife? Go do something with your. Go at least go work a part-time job or something. Go work a full-time job. But if you think you're just gonna be some stay-at-home wife where you do nothing, you don't even have kids, right? I mean, what's the point? It's it's silly. This is why they would stay at home to raise the children, right? But if you if you have no kids, you're not pregnant, you just want to be lazy and have a, a cushy life and you don't want to do anything and you think because you're a woman, you, you'd get that right and you deserve that right. That's bullshit. I'd stop then. So I would prefer someone who's over six feet. Honestly, I mean, definitely over six figures. You gotta be six feet, six figures. So a man that made 80,000, that's too, that's, that's not no, enough. No, not, not at all. What? Why are you thinking that's not enough, bro? I know me. I know my lifestyle. That's just not going to cut it. We're not going to go out to eat how I want, be able to travel like how I want. We're not going to be, it's just going to be too many like limitations. I bet she makes 30000 a year. I don't like that. Okay, so where does she want to go out to eat that's going to require a man to make six figures? Right. Are they going to be eating salt bay steaks three times a week? And he has to be six feet tall. No, not, not 5'11", six feet tall. It's the triple six. These modern women want the triple six. That's six figures, six feet tall with the six pack. And 80K is not enough. Nope, has to be six figures. Nothing less because that would be breaking the triple six. You have to keep the triple six. My stepdad was my top subscriber on my naughty website. Now I know what you're all thinking, oh stepdad fantasy, could have made content from it, blah blah blah. This man had been in my life since I was 11 years old and spent $2,000 on custom content every single video that I sent out. When I caught him, he denied it to all of his friends and obviously my mum got rid of him straight away. But yeah, if you want to talk about family trauma, my stepdad watched... Yeah, that's weird, but you're also weird, so you both kind of deserve each other. You're weird for selling your nudes online. It's not normal. It's really fucking weird, actually. I would say you're just as weird as him. Anyways, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and leave the video there. So if you enjoyed that, I would appreciate a like and a subscription. Check out my other vids. All right. Bye-bye.